top of the morning to everybody. Okay, today we're going to learn about this little thing here called memory pressure. This is in OS X Mavericks. Um, and when you open up, well, let me show you how to open it up. You go into your activity monitor and you have these little tabs here that say CPU, memory, energy, disk, network, so on and so forth. Memory pressure is the input and output. Well, it tells you right here. An indicator of the system's ability to meet the memory requirements of the user's activities. Higher, higher memory pressure indicates that the system is reaching its limits and performance may degrade. And I'm going to show you what happens when you reach your, your limits or it starts getting higher memory pressure. Basically, what it is is liken it under water pressure. Um, the more things that are going through your hose or your pipes, the more water is going through the pipes the higher the pressure is because it, it all has to go through. And when it, when it gets too high, um, it gets bogged down and, and can't really do much. So as you're trying to do more things on your computer, your memory pressure will go up. And when it gets up in this area, it will turn orange and, um, and then eventually it'll turn red and your computer will almost come to a halt. Now, it'll take a while for my memory pressure to get up because I do have 12 gigabytes of physical memory. Um, it says right now I've used seven gigabytes, but it's just Final Cut Pro is open and it's doing things and so it does kind of use it. If I close this down, this will probably go down to about two or three gigabytes. All right, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and stop for a minute, stop the recording. And I'm going to start putting together this Fletcher Jones show. And as my memory pressure goes up, I want to come back and start recording again and show you exactly what it's doing. All right. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay. So now if you look, my memory pressure is about halfway up. Um, but I'm going to do a little bit of editing and I want you to kind of notice how sluggish it is. I mean, I just pasted and it doesn't want to respond. I'm clicking and holding and it doesn't want to respond very well. Um, I've got two choices. I can keep it going like this, which I probably will because I want to get that memory pressure up into the orange or the red. Um, or I can quit Final Cut Pro and watch it drop like a rock and, and start it nice and fresh. So I'm going to keep going like this for now. And then once it gets up into the red area, then I will go ahead and... Um, and Quit Final Cut Pro so you can see it drop and then see the response and see the difference of what's going on. All right, so I'll be back in a little bit. All right, look at this. It just started getting into orange. Okay, now let's see. It's not too bad, but let's see how it responds. Not too bad for that. You can see though, it's kind of sluggish on some things. I'm cutting its head off, so I need to come up here. See how slow it scrolls? It's kind of, takes a little while to do this. And as I'm doing these things, it's getting a little higher. It's not as responsive as it usually is. All right, this car, I think, was already shot at another time. Anyway, let me go ahead and paste. And you can see a little beach ball comes up every now and then, stuff like that. They're little annoyances, but they slow you down quite a bit. And um, keeping this on and monitoring it, when it gets up to this level, this is now the time I should quit Final Cut Pro and let it let it rest. I'm going to try to drive it up just a little further. Uh, let's see what happens, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, it's uh, getting higher. It's getting almost unbearable as I try to do things. Um, you can see how long it takes just to select a couple of clips. And then I'm going to come down here and 
add the stabilization to some of them and it just takes I don't know it just doesn't respond it makes you kind of frustrated so I don't know that I'm gonna go that I'm going to get this into the red I just wanted to try that and err. see how slow it is you, you kind of really don't because you don't really know when I started to, to try to act or or do a reaction here so let's uh, paste something here and let's pull that out I mean I click and then the beach ball comes up It's just crazy. All right, let's um, let's see if I can get it into the red. We'll see what happens. Okay, so uh, let's get back to this over here. All right, it's still kind of fluctuating between these very slight positions. It's um, it's pretty full. You can see my monitor kind of skipping and stuff. And when I go to do things takes a very long time <clears throat> I've got some transcoding going on here uh, this should be short but I don't think I'm gonna be able to drive that up into the red so once this transcoding is done it shouldn't take too long once this transcoding is done I'm gonna quit Final Cut Pro and you'll watch the memory pressure drop to almost nothing all right it's done Okay, let's bring up that memory pressure. Okay, see that? Now we'll quit Final Cut Pro. And watch what happens. And it takes a while to quit. Usually it's fast. But when the memory pressure is up this high, it'll take a while to quit. And look at that, look how much it dropped. It's pretty crazy. Computer's a lot more responsive now. Seems to be doing everything a lot better. Let's uh, open up Final Cut Pro and take a look. All right, Final Cut Pro is open again. And let's go look at my memory pressure. It's down. And let's see how much more responsive it is. If I were to take these and delete them, it seems to be a lot more responsive than it used to be. So I think we're good. Now the show's almost done. I'm not completely done with it. Um, there's a couple of things that I need to do to it. So let's uh, lower that down. This one in the back isn't bright enough. There we go. All right, cool. So you can see how much more responsive it is now that the memory pressure is down. Um, it will rise, but it won't rise very much because most of the heavy processing, which was the stabilization effect, most of that is done. Um, for the rest of it, let me turn this down. Y sobre todo, el mejor servicio cliente for the rest of it, I think it's pretty much done. Máquina 1.8 litros, pero te da 35 millas por galón. Tiene un precio regular de 17,997. Cool. 
All right, so that was a little lesson on memory pressure, um, what to do when your memory pressure gets too high, why the computer stops responding, and, and when it gets slow, what you need to do. All right, so thank you very much for watching.